let me tell Kenyans, he the, he's the one who betrayed me. The moment he spoke about uh, supporting Azimio, not once, not twice. He betrayed me because we had an agreement with him. But what I came to realize, Kenyans, Kenyans do not want women who speak or tough women. Let me tell them, uh, me, this is my nature. It's a bit to you, Mzoe, because I cannot pretend that I'm, I'm just a, a flower girl down behind there. The time I met him, we had an agreement. When he started supporting Azimio, that is where the betrayal started. So I did not betray him. In fact, Kenyans should thank me. I called him out for not being honest. So I didn't betray him. Even him where he sits, I know he knows what agreement we had. And the agreement was to popularize his party. He's the one who went against our agreement. So in fact, he's the one who betrayed me. But I do not want to dwell on him so much because I don't, I don't know whether he's ever spoken to, to you people about me. I don't know. But that is the current situation. I did not betray him. He betrayed me. In my language, you say, when you hear someone talking about something, they have really suffered. So when I, when I spoke about it, there were so many things happening in the background that I never spoke about. So I felt it was important for me to speak at that time. And then I realized Kenyans do not like when someone speaks the truth. But for me, I believe in a different Kenya. I believe in leaders who want to make a difference. And the only way you can make a difference in this country is even if you're a leader, irrespective of which position you hold, learn to speak the truth. I know it's not popular, but it's the right thing. So for me, I, I, I spoke the truth. It was not popular, but it was the right thing to do. So it got me a lot of backlash. If I wasn't strong or if I wasn't, let me say like this industry, I really stay with boys most of the time, you know, men. Eh? So they have taught me to be hardened. In fact, I'm very rowdy like them. If it was someone else, I think someone would have been depressed because the backlash was so bad. But what I can tell Kenyans, if you hear someone speaking, or if an alligator comes and tells you the crocodile is sick and you do not live with him, please just keep quiet. That's all I can tell Kenyans. I, I, I don't take it personal because remember his age and my age, there was a generational difference. You know, the generational difference. And he's at the age of my parents, which I understand. Parents do not want to be told anything. You know, that's the Kenyan parent. That's the nature of Kenyan parents. So for me, it, it was better we don't speak so that I do not disrespect him in any way. So we don't speak. This was a political difference, not a personal difference. As long as he assures me that he will, he will stand his ground, he will not be swayed. In fact, that's something I came to learn, that it's good to work with someone who has a stand. So come the next season, I'll look out for someone who has a stand. Someone who, when you agree this is the direction, it is the direction without changing any, you know, being, being diverted or, fo or losing focus. I will run for a position in 2027. One thing I learned, we, the ORPP had called for female, meeting, female leaders meeting, and she expressed the disappointment that every time, every year after an election, she has these meetings, and she realizes she has new crop of women. It means that the other women who lost always give up. So she was encouraging us that, please, in as much as I need more women in this, I want you to also stick it out. You lost, but you learned something. So be there, be consistent. So I will be somewhere during 2027. I, I see Kenya, one day we'll have a female president. In fact, I tell women, it's good to invest with time, you know, invest in time. A while back, we used to have female male teachers who are the majority. Now we have female teachers who are the majority. But uh, my, what I believe, I will be the first female president of this country. And it's not a decision I've made. The decision has made me. So watch this space. Yes. <laughs>